The new update came out and I've been playing nonstop and well, I realized that I had a boost that I could have used in last video and I didn't. So as you guys look in the top left corner, I've actually hatched the new mythical Jiangxi. I don't actually know how to say that guys. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, but I managed to hatch it. But this guy right here, Bobby9023 messaged me and said, Toad, I hatched the new secret. OMG, I want to see, see it. I want to see it, I want to see it, I want to see the new secret. So I'm going to go ahead and turn other fighters effects on, HD effects on, and I'm going to unequip all my characters here for a second. And then, where is it? There it is! The new secret is called Obsessed, or Possessed, I should say, I lied. It's called Possessed. Whoa! It's so OP. Come fight the big boss. Let's see him fight the big boss, because he literally destroyed that one in like no time whatsoever. Holy smokes. Okay, the new secret possessed, guys. I want to see its abilities because, well, it kind of destroyed that mini boss by itself. So it's extremely OP. Here it is, 3.6 million health on the old hunter. It should be able to do its ability at least. There we go. It's do Oh, whoa, three hits? What did it do? Oh, <laughs> it channeled like it's inner demons or something and then it, like it took its sword and it was like oh get stabbed a million times old man that's a pretty cool new secret character um, I'm gonna quit my characters now that are the best I do have the phantoms and everything they're really strong but there is the new mythical character so what I want to do real quick is sign mythical myth how do I sell mythical mythical there's the new Jiangxi Mythical, unequip all. I will equip both of them right now so you guys can see that. It's really OP. Oh, this one's giving me like, um, oh gosh, Shaman King vibes, the new Jiangxi. 26, 26K? Sheesh. Holy smokes. Oh, whoa, the Jiangxi does a really cool attack too. I'm gonna fuse everything I have into this Jiangxi, ready? Wait. Wait, not mythical, sorry. Uh, select all of these, fuse all that into her. Level 52 Jiangxi does 20,000 damage. So I'm actually really OT myself now, guys. Look at this. This is my team. I'm gonna get so many shards. I got almost half a million from that with the new possessed character doing the damage. The possessed character is super, super, super cool. Very strong. I, I do like, I think I do like this update. It's not so much anime, but it has like anime style vibes to it, if you get what I mean. So it's not a new anime character, but it does have anime style vibes to it. Like this Zhang Shi character, however you say it, is very, very cool. Whoa, I destroy this so easily. He says when he's level 200, he does about 10, 420 billion damage at level 200, the new Halloween character guys that's insane I can't actually think that I'll be able to make a Halloween character get to level 200 because it's gonna take a lot of grinding like a whole bunch of time is gonna take in order to get us to level 200 like as you can see I got my character to level 52 and that was of a full inventory I can't imagine like having to do any more than this because it takes quite a bit of time to get them this strong oh there's another huntress here that I can just attack um, there's probably a secret mini boss somewhere that I haven't found, like uh, up here probably. Uh, let's see, is it up here? I can't tell. Um, can I jump there? Uh, nope, can't do that. <laughs> Anyways, what I will do real quick is go back. Hey, thanks for subscribing. Make sure you guys subscribe and turn notifications and all that stuff. Okay, I appreciate you guys. Um, but going back here into the main world, I want to do the new raid. Equip my best characters to do the new raid because as you guys saw in the last world there is this new raid system Oh cool. We get to skip because you already skipped it. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty strong. He's pretty strong So we'll see how we'll be able to do this new time trial um, With him on my team. I'm hoping it goes by damage with the shard things because that means I'll be able to get more stuff Oh, I got a shard already backpack it's one time trial shard, guys. So it seems like you're gonna have to do the time trial a lot of time. It might be only the bosses that this, that drops the shards to, which means that it'll actually be better to not skip from the beginning because then you'll have more bosses to fight. Um, now, I don't know how accurate that is. It could just be that I get really lucky or I'm getting really unlucky just fighting the bosses to get these. 
but I don't know. I can't tell. You see, look, I destroyed that boss and it didn't give me a shard, so I wonder if it's just random. You're going to have to keep doing the time trial a ton of times. This character, or this guy here who got to show us the new secret access is really, really cool, but I also do wonder if those characters will ever be useful, you know? Like, the new time trial, or the new world, the spooky world is really cool and all, but in all honesty, it makes me weak, if you think about it. I am hoping that this update is going to be one from this week, and that next week, Dyro will update the game again. Because although a new like event update is really, really cool, and I appreciate it, um, it really does not help with the progression of the game, if you guys get what I mean. It's just kind of like, uh, I don't want to call it filler episode, but it is a filler episode for the game. I know that I did mention in a previous video that I think they're trying to change the game completely by adding new worlds and changing how things look and so on and so forth. So we'll have to keep waiting for that. Um, but as of right now, it's gonna take some time and I know it is. Oh, the guy left our server. Oh, whoops. Anyways, I did not kick him, that's for certain. You guys saw it, I didn't kick him, okay? He just left. Um, we're up to 10 shards? Wait a second. Maybe they do give you more shards the further in you go. One shard from that guy. No shards from this one. None here, none there. Hmm, I'm really not certain how the shard system works. Hmm, maybe I'm just getting really lucky. I don't know, can't tell. We're already on room 64. My team can go on really, really far. I can keep doing this forever, but um, I'll stop at room 72 just to go see the shard shop again. Because if you guys remember, I think if you get like 20 shards, you can buy yourself like a luck boost or something like that. So that's gonna help you guys out so much. I do, the one thing I really like about this update, it's kind of like a, in a filler, I like to say the word filler today, I don't know why, but it's like a filler to boost pausing. So instead of boost pausing, you can finally buy boost, which is good, and I appreciate that a lot, but I still do miss boost pausing. But at least now he did have the option to do the time trials and get these shards to get more boosts. I, I really do appreciate that. So this, like I said, still my favorite game, guys. Nothing has changed about that, but I did want a new world that had to like do with the progression of the game along with this Halloween thing. Maybe that's just me asking for too much, but yeah, anyways, I, I, I think the new characters are cool. It's very interesting. It's it's not anime, but it is like Halloween themed, which makes sense. It's a Halloween themed update, but yeah. Those are my honest thoughts on this update. Let me know what you guys think of the update. I'm gonna go ahead and keep grinding, trying to get that secret for myself, hopefully get the shiny secret, and then we'll go on from there. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and yeah, Reese Pieces, bye!